Do you guys want an Elgato Stream Deck, but can't afford to pay $200 for one? Well, this is the app for you. Welcome to Macro Deck. It is an app that will allow you to turn your Android phone into a Stream Deck. Now, it only works on Android phones and Windows PCs, so that's a bit of a limitation, but otherwise, it does a pretty good job at replicating a Stream Deck. So you can see in the bottom right corner, right where my mouse just tucked behind, there is a webcam showing my phone. And the reason I'm doing that instead of just a screenshot is so that you can see my finger pressing everything. And first I'm going to show you how to set it up. So you're going to want to download the Macro Deck client on your phone. You can just go into the Google Play Store and put in Macro Deck and it will come up as the first one and you're going to want to download the macro deck server for your PC and that link will be in the description now you can see here I have a big grid but I don't have the same on my phone so you're going to want to connect it just by plugging it in with the USB and then pressing the green button on the bottom which you can't see but it says connect USB alrighty so now you can see we have a blank grid and it resembles the one that we can see here on the computer. Now if you head into the settings and grid, you can pick whatever grid size you want. And these are the three sizes of the stream decks. The de it defaults to the normal stream deck with 15 buttons, but you can also get the stream deck mini or the larger stream deck or you can make a custom one. Now if we just head back to here, you can see this perfectly replicates what we have on the phone, which is nice. Now, for a quick tour, I'm going to drag it off so you can see all the buttons. On this side, it shows all of the folders that you have. More about them later. Here is a preview of what you're going to see. Down here is where you can edit all of your icons. And over here is all the icons that you can drag. And up here, there's just a whole bunch of links. Now, first thing that we can add, what about making the volume go up when we press a button. If we go to system, you can see there's a volume plus, and once you click on one, it will appear down here in this little edit pane. Now, you can make it say whatever you want, so we can make it say like volume up, and these little bars will move the text wherever you want, so this moves it to the bottom, that puts it in the middle, but you can't really see because of the icon, and that puts it to the top. This delete button also deletes the text. Now, you can also change the color of the text, so now we have orange text. Also, you can change the icon by just pressing this little plus symbol, and there's a whole bunch of icons you can choose. But we're just going to keep the volume plus one for now. You can also delete an icon and just have text. I like to just have text and put it in the middle sometimes, if no icons describe it. You can also add an icon of your own. So maybe if you want to have one to take you to your YouTube channel, you can put in your logo. But anyway. I'm going to do a volume plus, and then the background, you can pick a color from here, or you can hit color picker and pick a custom one. Or you can hit add and upload an image as the background, but what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to pick this nice blue here, and there we go. Now, once we're done and we're ready to add it to the dock, you're just going to want to click and hold and drag it to whichever icon you want. So in this case, we're going to have a little media player in the middle, so let's just put it off to that side. Now you can see it's appeared on the phone in real time and if we come up and we tap it you can see the volume goes up but we can make the volume go up what about the volume going down let's just click on the volume minus select the background let's make it the same and let's drag it here now we can make the volume go up and down also you can hold them to have it go up quicker just in case tapping repeatedly is a little too much for you. Anyway, now what about a media? We can have a pause and a play and a an next and a back and all that good stuff. So here's a little play and pause button. Let's keep the background a purple and drag it here. And we can have a next and a back just like that we can also have a muting one which can be used to 
mute our audio and you can see that this works quite nicely this is my first Fortnite Str Friday stream if we hit the next one you can see now it's number two and we can go back to number one we can pause we can play and you'll see that works we can also mute our audio and unmute it very nice so this is all cool but what if I want it to integrate with OBS Studio there's a couple of other interesting things I'll have to do for that alrighty so if we want to integrate it with OBS we're gonna have to download this plugin the link is in the description and you just hit the download button on the website and it will take you to this github page where you can scroll all the way down and download the installer once it's fully downloaded just click on it to open it and it will ask you if you'd like to let it make changes and just hit yes so that it can run the installer hit next install and it will install now if it asks you where you want to install it be sure to select the folder that you installed OBS in press finish and you're done now we can open up OBS studio and here we are now I have two scenes right here and these scenes are going to be used to change between now if we head back into our micro deck server we can press an OBS studio to open our list now we can just select switch scene and then press configure now we're going to want to pick the scene that we want to switch to so let's just pick the scene one and we're going to call this blank if I can type scene now we can move this right onto the middle and maybe we want the background to be green now this second dot is for when you actually have that scene selected now you can make it the same color if you don't really want to be able to see or you can change it to whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as this darker green right now and we can apply it up here now we have to make a duplicate um, and instead set it to be scene 2 which is gonna be logo scene because I put my logo in it and we can drag that up there now you can see on the phone the blank scene is selected because that's what I'm on right now but if we press the logo scene you'll see my logo jumps to the screen and we can go back and forth perfectly now, there's also other options in here such as toggling recording and toggling streaming but I'll let you guys mess around with those for yourself and they work as you expect alrighty next the option to make folders now this is a big one because if you only need 15 buttons well then you don't need to make folders but if you need more then you're obviously going to want folders to be able to have more and what the folders do is when you tap on the folders it'll open up a whole new instance of this stream deck with the only way to get back being a little back button so how you can make those is right here on the folders menu to the right I've already made one called media control but we can make a new one maybe OBS scenes just hit save and you'll see it automatically jumps to the screen we can jump between these however much we want as you can see but obviously we don't want to have to click in the program to get between them because if you did that, that completely destroys the purpose of the Stream Deck. Why would you want to have to touch your computer to do things that the Stream Deck should be able to do? So, if you want to change that, we can just head over to Macro Deck here and press on Switch Folder. Now, if we select, we can select whatever we want. So let's configure it and set it to OBS Scenes, save it, and we can drag this out. Now that it's on here, you'll see if we tap on it, it'll take us to that folder. And if we hit the back button, it'll take us back to wherever the folder is. And um, you can also have folders inside folders and folders inside those folders, and it just goes on and on. But what if we want to move things that we already have into those folders? Just right click on them, press on move, and then where you want to move them to. There we go. Now once you're here, you can arrange them however you want. I think I'll just keep them like this and we can have a whole menu full of different scenes that we can switch between. Now it can do a whole bunch of other things like going home in your browser and maybe sending out a chat message 
on Twitch or playing an ad, hitting next tracks on Spotify, sending out a tweet on Twitter, and it can pretty much do anything that an Elgato Stream Deck can. So if you can't afford it, or you don't want to buy one, or you think this is good enough and you have a spare Android phone lying around, it's completely free, other than obviously you need the phone and you need the computer. And it's pretty useful, even if you don't stream, you can still have your volume control and things on this if you want. So I thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. See you guys next time. Goodbye.